All right, good morning. Today we're gonna go to Honduras. We had a runway excursion. We're gonna see what the firefighters did on scene, what type of trucks they use, and do a full breakdown. Let's check it out. All right, as we can see, we have passengers evacuating. There was no injuries and no deaths on this one. This uh, aircraft had a right main gear collapse and it had an excursion as it swerved to the right off the runway into the grass here. So the aircraft was a British Jetstream 31. Hotel Romeo dash Alpha Yankee Yankee was the tail number. And it happened at this Juan Manuel Galvez International Airport on Rotom Island. Beautiful place from the looks of it. That was in Honduras. And you can see fires on scene. Good thing that that pilot stopped before hitting the rocks or in the water. So fires pulling, hand lines, they have their, their proximity gear, you can tell with those silvers. And then also, they're all on the same, uh, same side of the line, getting nice and close to the heat or the fire. And then also while those guys are pulling hand lines here, you have another firefighter that's doing triage, basically getting everybody in the same area, getting a passenger count, and seeing if it's the same as the manifest, making sure everyone is accounted for, and then looking at everyone medically to see that they're all okay, and if anybody needs to be transported to the hospital. And then you can see here these trucks. This looks like an E1 Titan. This one is a, a old T1500 Oshkosh. Um, so this is what it looks like. We used to have a lot of these trucks. We've now moved on. Um, but these are, yeah, T1500 uh, Oshkosh. And then these are the newer ones here. These are the Global Series that we carry now. And the main difference between the two is um, this one is balance. This one has like a balance pressure pump. So there's two pumps in the back here. One for water and one for foam. And then it balances the pressure out so you get the right equivalent. Versus this one has a cent one, tr one centrifugal pump and then the foam is educted in and it goes in and it, it's already pre-mixed. So one pump versus two is just a little bit more efficient.